I'm sitting on my 2005 Honda Civic. Had this car for several years now. I've been through many adventures together. I love this car. I've also experienced a lot of emotions in this car. A lot of emotions I'm not proud of. A lot of road rage. I know none of you experienced that, but I have had my bouts with road rage as I'm driving down the highway or downtown or whatever. Um, and it's like kind of shocking, right? The disproportionate level of aggression that comes out in a moment because somebody did this turn a certain way or didn't do something. Like we gotta step back and wonder like, where's all this anger coming from? Where's all this angst sourced in my life? Why am I so upset about this? How come this person all of a sudden is like the worst person ever in the whole world and I hate everything about them? I don't even know them, right? And it's based on this like split second moment. Um, you know, as we stop and like reflect and think about where this stuff's coming from, I find that often the road rage that I experience, all of that aggression and anger while I'm driving is usually coming during times where I have other issues in my life that have not settled. I've not found a solution. I'm not at peace about stuff. I'm still like restless or angry or offended or upset or confused or hurt by something. And I've not actually found the peace that my soul needs to be at rest. And then I get in a car and then I experience other vehicles doing stupid things and there are all these idiots everywhere and everyone's horrible, right? Um, so when that road rage starts to flare up, you guys, it's time to like pull over and pop the hood of our hearts and check out like what's really going on under there. Where is all this stuff coming from? And I think that most people, especially with nowadays how fast paced everything is and how immediate our lifestyles can become, which I love, it gets really easy to overlook the needs that we have in our soul to be heard, to be understood, to be known, to feel connected, to feel loved and trusted and seen and valued and respected. And when those things go unmet, when those needs go unmet, we're left with a lot of negative emotions and that's like all we have to offer. That's all we have to grab at because we just get kind of frenzied and frantic and frenzied and frantic and kind of primitive in our process. So anyway, you guys, when you start seeing yourself reacting negatively, like intensely to things that's not like appropriate for the circumstance, it's time to take a check and figure out where is this coming from, what's up, and where can I release or let go of or find the answer that I need so that when I get into this rocket of death, I'm actually somebody that can contribute to the experience and I'm not gonna be sideswiped by somebody else's stupid decisions. I can actually stay in control of myself.